welcome back. The three-dimensional structure of a protein determines its function. Therefore, when a protein is synthesized on ribosome, it must fold into its native conformation to exert biological function. Sometimes this occurs spontaneously, but more often it requires the assistance of specialized protein complexes called chaperones. Chaperones are proteins that interact with partially folded or improperly folded polypeptides, facilitating correct folding or providing proper microenvironments for folding. Several types of molecular chaperones are found in organisms in ranging from bacteria to humans. Two major families of chaperones, including the heat shock protein 17 family and the chaperonins, are both well studied. This will be discussed in detail in molecular biology. In addition, disulfate bond formation and the cis isomerization of proline peptide bonds require two enzymes. Protein disulfate isomerase catalyze the formation of disulfate bonds and the elimination of folding intermediates within appropriate disulfate crosslinks. Peptide proline cis trans isomerase catalyze the interconversion of the cis and the trans isomers of peptide bonds formed by proline residues, which can be a slow step in the folding of proteins. Many of these folding helpers can function to refold proteins that become transiently unfolded. If this system doesn't work, misfolding proteins can be degraded in lysosome or by a system of proteases called the ubiquitin proteasome system. Despite many processes that assist in protein folding, misfolding does occur. In fact, protein misfolding is a substantial problem in all cells, and a quarter or more of all polypeptides synthesized may be destroyed because they do not fold correctly. Defects in any of these systems decrease the capacity to deal with misfolded proteins and increase the propensity for development of misfolding-related diseases. This system is an attractive drug target for protein misfolding diseases. In some cases, partially unfolded proteins and protein folding intermediates escape the quality control activities of the chaperones and degradative pathways. The soluble proteins are turned into misfolded state. Proteins that are not properly folded often have exposed hydrophobic surfaces that render them sticky and accumulate, leading to the formation of disordered aggregates and ordered amyloid-like aggregates. The aggregation of misfold proteins contributes to the development of severe disease. Some misfolded proteins aggregate to form amyloid fibers deposition uh, concentrated around the tissues. These fibers are highly ordered and unbranched, with a high degree of beta sheet structure, which resist to degradation of proteolic enzymes, thereby causing uh, cytotoxicity and diseases. Many conditions, including type 2 diabetes, uh, Alzheimer's disease, Huntington disease, and Parkinson disease, and aging processes are associated with the misfolding mechanism. A soluble protein that is normally secreted from the cell is secreted in a misfolded state and converted into an insoluble extracellular amyloid fiber. The diseases are collectively referred to as amyloid doses. In addition, a special degenerative brain disease known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy uh, is caused by misfolding and amyloid-like aggregates of a brain protein in cells called prion. Protein misfolding need not lead to amyloid formation to cause severe disease. For example, cystic fibers is caused by defects in a membrane-bound protein called cystic fibers transmembrane conductance regulator, which acts as a channel for chloride ions. 
The most common cystic uh, fibers causing mutation is the deletion of uh, phenylalanine residue at position 508 in CFTR, which causes improper protein folding. Most of this protein is then degraded and its normal function is lost. Okay, let's summarize this section. The three-dimensional structure of a protein determines its function. Thereby, a protein must undergo post-synthetic folding to form its native conformation. This process occurs spontaneously, or with the assistance of chaperones. The quality control system can survey the folding state of proteins, ensuring the proper folding of proteins and degrading the misfolding proteins. Protein misfolding is the molecular basis of a wide range of human diseases. Okay, that's all. Thanks for joining. See you next time. 